Okay, guys, the next thing that we're going to go over is the pricing tables. I just put one in right now before starting the video because it takes over five minutes to do it from scratch, but I wanted to show you guys how this one works as well. Now, when we go into here, we're going to have featured, uh, don't make this table featured or make this table featured. Uh, if you want the middle one or the first one, whatever one you want featured, uh, make this table featured, that's going to make it pop out, and then the other ones are going to look flat. So that's going to be the featured one. So we have the title, subtitle, currency, which is just the money symbol that you're going to use. Uh, this one, if you put in USD or an actual like EUR, it's not going to understand it. It just wants the currency symbol per units price button URL if you don't have a URL in here the button will look flat and it will not have a link so you need to have a URL uh, the button text buy now sign up whatever you want it to be and then down here the interesting part is in order to get them to show up or not show up you need these plus symbols in front or these minus symbols. When you do this, you can make the table as long as you want and everything's going to show up, but everything with a minus is going to show up grayed out and everything with a plus symbol is going to show up just as text. So you have to have these pluses and you have to have these minuses to tell it what's supposed to show up in gray and what's not part of the package and the pluses to show what shows up in color and what is part of the package. Okay, so this one is built. Now we're actually going to go build a couple more and come right back to this so that we can see the front page and see how it looks. So title subtitle don't need a subtitle currency we'll go 600 per we'll say one unit however many units you want you can put in there so, whoops currency is just a symbol button URL we have to have this in and for right now I'm just doing a demo so I'm just gonna put the hashtag symbol which just makes it a blank link the button text by now and then all of our content whatever we have in there and like I said you're gonna wanna put in everything on every single page and then you're just gonna wanna put the minuses and the pluses to show what shows what doesn't show so actually because this is the second one up we'll just put an extra plus and another plus and then we'll just do one more and i will show you that when this done okay guys i now have the other one in now let's go ahead hit preview um, by the way, I did forget to mention in the beginning, the reason I keep hitting preview versus publish is when you're on a WordPress site and you hit preview, the site is not live. You are viewing a preview of the page and it puts you on a preview link. And you can preview as many times as you want until you have the page you want it. Then hit publish, then the page will be live. This is really great for when you need to edit pages because you can preview over and over again without ever having the site live until you have it exactly how you want it. And here you see it. This is the table with the middle one being, being the featured table and then just our two side tables. This is a title and a subtitle. You'll only need the subtitle on the featured because otherwise it will make the bottom look smaller than the rest, not larger than the rest. But this is the table and how the table works and how the featured tables work.